look at a question on percentage composition. It says, The empirical formula of Garnet, a gemstone, um, is so here's your empirical formula. So here's the empirical formula is this analysis of a sample of Garnet gave a value of 13.8% for the percentage by mass of silicon. Show by calculation whether this is consistent with the formula or not. And of course, the same ion should be taken as 56 um, silicon is 28 then aluminium is 27 all right so you give this as the different atomic masses so they said um, the percentage composition of silicon is about 13.8 percent show by calculation whether it is consistent with the formula or not so how do i solve this it's as easy as for this question find the percentage composition of silicon in the compound if your answer is equal to 13.8 percent as stated in the question then it is consistent if the answer is not equal to 13.8 percent as stated in the question then it is not consistent so what we have to do for here is just to look for the percentage composition of silicon in this compound. All right. So remember we said that percentage, percentage composition of an element in a compound is given by the formula mass of elements times n all over molar mass of compound times 100 percent all right so my first task now we get the molar mass of the compound so let's calculate for molar mass of uh, the compound here is uh, this Alright, so I have this For the molar mass now, this will now be equal to um, ion We said it's 56 there As you have there, times number of atoms here, 3 Plus for aluminium 27 times number of atoms here 2 plus for silicon is 28 times number of atoms here 3 plus for oxygen uh, that's about oxygen is 16 times 12. That's 12 atoms here. If I combine this, uh, this should be 168 plus, this should give about 54 plus, should give 84 plus, this should give about. Um, 16, 160, and 32. 160 and 32. 1, 9, 
Two. All right. This should be like your results. Let's sum this up. The sum this up. We have. Um, this will give. One six eight plus sixty four plus eighty four plus one nine two. That would be four nine eight gram per mole as the molar mass. Just to confirm an answer, I'm going through this again. Yeah. 